Hello. Welcome to watch the video name recombinant antibody overview 2. It is created by Creative Biolabs, who is specialized in providing recombinant antibodies and engineered antibodies. Several days ago, we published part 1 of recombinant antibody overview, which mainly focus on antibody basic information and antibody production in vivo. The part 2 of this topic, we will explain the introduction of recombinant antibody and recombinant antibody expression. What is recombinant antibody? What is process of recombinant antibody? And what is difference common antibody and recombinant antibody? In this part, we will give you a simple concept. A recombinant antibody is an antibody fragment generated by using recombinant antibody coding genes as a source and display technology, delivering high reproducibility, specificity and scalability. Unlike monoclonal antibodies, MABs, which are produced using traditional hybridoma-based technologies, our ABs do not need hybridomas in animals in the production process if you only use synthetic genes. How is recombinant antibody produced? Now let me show you the process of recombinant antibody production. As we know, antibody is composed of two heavy chains, VH, and two light chains, VL. Step 1. Variable genes of heavy chain and light chain antibody should be cloned by PCR and design primers. About the detailed strategy of PCR, welcome to browse the article of SCFB Library Construction Protocol on the website of Creative Biolabs by the recombinant DNA technology. Link purified genes of VH and BL with prokaryotic expression vector, which requires select and advance based on your target recombinant antibody fragments. If you need SCFB fragment antibody, linker must be designed in your PCR strategy. Step 2 Transformation Electroporate ligation product of VH and VL received in previous step into cloned expression host cells. In this step, it is very important that highly competent of commercial source be recommended to obtain high transformation efficiency. Step 3 Choose appropriate antibody display technology such as phage display, which can screening small antibody fragment to obtain large antibody library, ribosome display, which can get a library of a capacity of 10 to the power of 14, without limitation of transformation efficiency, and acquire mutant antibody library, yeast display, which make human antibody expression more superior, because that yeast expression system is similar with mammalian cells. According to these above procedures, some recombinant antibodies can be constructed successfully, such as SCFB antibody fragments, FAB antibody fragments, and single domain antibodies. There are three common recombinant antibody fragments listed FAB, SCFB, single domain antibody, STOB. FAB fragment was originally defined as one of the cleavage products after treatment of rabbitig with papain, which cleaves the core hinge resulting in two identical FAB fragments and the intact FC as products. The molecular weight of FAB fragment is about 50 kata. The nonspecific protease pepsin cuts below the first disulfide bond in the hinge region, giving rise to a FAB2 fragment. The molecular weight of FAB2 fragment is about 100 kata. The FAB contains four domains. The heavy chain variable domain, VH, linked to constant domain 1, CH1 and the light chain variable domain, VL, linked to a constant domain, CL, due to the hinge region which allows for flexibility of FABs in relation to the FC. Intact IgGs have proven difficult to crystallize in forms suitable for diffraction studies, and thus, to this time, only a few structures for intact IgGs have been determined. Single chain fragment variable, SCFB, molecules combine the coding sequence of the variable heavy, VH, and sequence of the variable light chain, VL, domains of an antibody in a single gene encoded format. The resulting polypeptides, with the variable light, VH, and heavy chain, VH, domains connected, by a flexible peptide linker, were assembled into functional antigen binding sites. The linker technology is a key step of success of constructing a CFB antibody library. A CFBS have been developed as possible drug candidates in their own right as well as components or domains of drug candidates. Single-domain antibody, SDAB, 
is discovered in Camelids A. And he nurse sharks that consisted of a lone VH domain, lacking a paired VL, attached to a constant region. The primary advantages of domain antibodies as compared with SCFVS are generally better folding and stability characteristics, the absence of the linker, and size. Compared with conventional antibody, recombinant antibody, ARAB, possesses some advantages, such as smaller size, monovalency, ease of engineering and manufacture, improved tissue penetration, no animal immunization and broader biodistribution, as well as lack of potentially deleterious at the effector function. A particular application may include a smaller biologic that would have broader tissue distribution or the ability to penetrate tumors, a molecule lacking an FC effector functionality to eliminate both cellular responses against the target and potential for dimerization of receptors due to bivalency, a molecule that can be manufactured in either yeast or E. coli to potentially reduce cost of goods or increase scale of manufacturing. However, there are some drawbacks in recombinant antibodies, such as lower antibody yield, highly training an experienced technician. Most of scientists need to get them from outsourced companies, because of complexity and intensive high technology of recombinant antibody production. Since antibody has been applied for almost every aspect of life research, modern healthcare, and manifested unlimited potentials for every malicious disease cure in the future. It is extremely critical to study antibody expression condition for maximizing the expression yields of the recombinant antibody. In this part, we will introduce recombinant antibody expression, especially several important expression systems. There are two expression systems, including prokaryotic expression and eukaryotic expression. In prokaryotic expression system, there are two universal hosts, Escherichia coli and Bacillus subtilis expression. There are many hosts in eukaryotic expression system, such as yeast, plant cell, insect cell, mammalian cell and transgenic animals. Different antibody expression system has different expression features, as listed in the table. Some different features, such as molecular weight, antibody format, secretion formats and folding formats, and so on. According to your antibody structure and character, choose a suitable expression system. In the common process of recombinant antibody expression, it can be summarized seven key steps. Step 1. Optimize code and base on antibody sequence and vector sequence. Step 2. Construct target sequence or foreign sequence into option vector. Step 3. Select suitable expression hosts based on sequence and protein character. And then transform the recombinant plasmid into host. Screening positive clone with screening marks. Step 5. Optimized expression condition, such as temperature, pH or adding some biomolecular to promote expression. It is usual to produce some toxins or other harmful substance when expressing antibody in hosts. Therefore, protein purification is necessary in recombinant antibody production. At last, based on predictable structure, identify the function of pure protein. Recently, Creative Biolabs has established a magic antibody production service to satisfy almost all the requirements with the different producing systems and every range of producing quantity and quality. In the novel platform, there is a series of expression hosts can be chosen to meet your unique requirement, such as Escherichia coli, Bacillus subtilis, Filamentous fungus, plant cell, yeast. And animal cell line. There are some challenges in the production of recombinant antibody, whatever of expression system. For example, small antibody fragment can be easily aggregate. Human antibody has different glycosylation patterns. With some other expression system, we always get low expression quality from most of expression systems, and so on. All above questions, Creative Biolabs can solve them with our novel magic recombinant antibody expression platform. By the platform, we are able to superiorly produce our superior antibody, or customer's antibody with almost every quantity range from small scale, milligram, to scale, gram, and particularly even kilogram without damage of bioactivity and purity.
Here are some featured advantages in our Gram Scale service. Such as, expression success rate up to 95%, various sets of expression vectors, various prokaryotic host strains, from micrograms up to gram production. One-stop service. Start from the original design and optimization, all the way down to the target purification and data analysis report. Our magic eukaryotic antibody production service includes eight hosts, such as yeast expression, filamentous fungus expression, eukaryotic algae expression, plant cell expression, parasite expression, insect cell expression, mammalian cell expression, transgenic animal expression. It is necessary to explain that there are various advantages and features in every expression host. Hope you can load our website www.creativebiolabs.net Meanwhile, Creative Biolabs has established a magic antibody production service for satisfying the high throughput requirement. Noticeable. Our high throughput capacity not only easily covers the conventional 96 and 384 well expression and subsequent purification with superior yield and purity, but also the urging higher throughput based on researchers' requirements. Generally, we recommend the optimal 10 to 30 milliliters volume for the swift antibody expression and screen purpose according to our decades' successful experience with numerous desired antibodies. If you have any questions about recombinant antibody, welcome to contact us at info at creativebiolabs.com or call us at 1-631-381-2994.